What's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi, and today we're going to be viewing this 2022 Forest River Heritage Glen Model 25 RBHL. Rear bath, half ton towable, with a dry weight of 6,215 pounds. Bathrooms all the way in the back, bedrooms in the front, and you're going to have one massive slide on this side that is a super slide. Coach is pre-equipped from the factory with a 100 watt solar panel pre-installed on the roof, which does send over a trinkle charge to the battery. Here on the front of the model, you got a fully molded front cap and that's painted two-tone. And I call that a three-quarter cap because it only comes down three quarters of the way. The bottom half is a sheet metal, which will definitely help protect the camper from a different road debris. Electric jack on the front with two 20 pound propane bottles. The solar once again from coming from the solar panel it sends a charge over to this 30 amp charger found inside the front storage compartment and this is called a texas style because it's just absolutely enormous but it sends over that trinket charge to the controller which keeps the battery charged so all the 12 volt inside the camper will stay running and operational and you can see some of the lights i've got on inside of there already about a half inch thick baggage doors slam latches there Hitch weight on this coach is 640 pounds, which is ideal for a lot of your half tons in the market today. Outdoor camp kitchen. And this model does have the refrigerator, spray port. And this is one thing that's really cool. These little nozzles like this, they stretch out to about 10, maybe 15 feet in length. Outdoor TV connection, so you can mount a TV to the side. Connections are down there. Check out the spread on the axles. 42 inch spread to some, compared to some of its competitors, which are closer to the 24 to 26 inch mark. Wide entry door. You're looking at a wide, 30 inch wide door, six feet tall, and there's a friction hinge to keep that door from flinging back. Coach is stabilized with four scissor jacks, one on each corner. That's one of them down there. Fully walkable roof. 250 pound low capacity on the rear mounted ladder there and all the way up there at the top that's a blindside camera prep outside shower you do have the four inch about four by four tubular bumper which is great for storing all of your sewer lines once you're finished connection and that is the gas and electric hot water heater cable driven slides and this coach is a 50 amp coach that's the power core back there on the back i forgot to point that out you got 115k air on it, but it's pre-wired to receive the second. Gross vehicle weight rating, 7,640 pounds. That's completely loaded out. 18 foot awning with LED lights underneath. I saw the, some of the stickers on the outside. Coming inside, one slide you got theater seats. These are all breeze windows also. You do have the booth dinette with additional storage underneath. Blackout shades with the valance on both sides of the windows. And you can tell from how much natural light coming in that this is just really good. Coming around to the kitchen, this is a, this is a press membrane countertop, which is just a Formica that has this hard plastic wrapped over it. Plastic drop-in sink with a residential faucet there. Microwave, Furion oven. All electric 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. This does work off of that 12 volt, so that's one thing the solar will run. Thirty-two inch, sitting in the chairs here, so 32 inch electric fireplace. You can turn those lights off, excuse me, the heat off and just utilize the, the lights if you happen to have guests sleeping over. Pantry hidden behind the fireplace here. Has a motion detector light. There we go. I'll back up and show you some of that. Coming right up to the bedroom. 60 by 74 queen size bed. You have hanging closets on both sides. There's a mirror accent. What's going on, guys? Kind of like a hidden cubby on both sides of the bed with USB charger and 12, excuse me, 12 volt 
USB charger and 110 outlets. I'm all stumbling on myself today. Breeze windows again. And if you got the second air, that's where it's going to be installed at right there. Nice big sliding door. Rear bathroom floor plan. And when they give you the rear bath like this, in my opinion, you're, you're going to get the largest bathroom in the travel trailer when you go rear bath. Just a lot of move about space. Ceiling height inside the coach of around six foot five. Two piece plastic shower, about a six inch step up. And they say this is a self drying shower curtain, like a plastic material. But I, growing up, my parents always taught me when you're done taking a shower, leave it open so it doesn't mildew. That's still my, I don't know, I think I'm still going to be sticking with that. Linen closet. This is a porcelain flush toilet. More additional storage over here as well. I'll open this up for you. Let me know down below what is your favorite floor plan. That way I can be on the lookout for more. Make more videos of what you guys want to see. Let me know down below what you think of this model. Leave me a thumbs up. It definitely does help. And for pricing and availability, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Don't see us.